Hello boys and girls, it's Mr. McMahon, and today I'd like to read Commotion in the Ocean, and it's written by Giles Andrea and David Wojowizik. What about all the letters in that last name? Commotion, the word commotion means a lot of action or activity. Commotion in the ocean. I'm going to slow this a little bit like that. There we go. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. You'll find every sort of creature that lives beneath the sea swimming through the pages of this book. There are dolphins, whales, and penguins. There are jellyfish and sharks. There's the turtle and the big white polar bear. But can you see behind the wrecks and in between the rocks? Let's take a look and find who's hiding there. Crab. The crab likes walking sideways. And I think the reason why is to make himself look sneaky and pretend that he's a spy. Turtles. We crawl up on the beach from the water to bury our eggs on dry land. We lay a whole batch, and then when they hatch, they scamper about in the sand. Dolphins. The wonderful thing about dolphins is hearing them try to speak. It's not, how do you do, as I'd say to you. It's more of a click, whistle, squeak. Squeak, squeak, click, click, whistle, click. Angelfish. Hello, I'm the angelfish. Darling, the prettiest thing in the sea. What a shame there are no other creatures as gorgeous and lovely as me. Jellyfish. The jellyfish just loves to jiggle, which other fish think is quite dumb. She knows that it's not all that useful, but jiggling's lots of good fun. Shark. I swim with a grin up to greet you. See how my jaws open wide? Why don't you come a bit closer? Please take a good look inside. Swordfish. I love to chase after small fishes. It keeps me from getting too bored. And then when I start feeling hungry, I skewer a few on my sword. Skewer means to stab. Octopus. Having eight arms can be useful. You may think it looks a bit funny, but it helps me to hold all my children and tickle each one on the tummy. Stingray. At the bottom of the ocean, the stingray flaps his wings. But don't you get too close to him. His tail really stings. Lobster. Never shake hands with a lobster. It isn't a wise thing to do. With a clippity clap and a snippity snap, he would snip all your fingers in two. Deep sea. Miles below the surface where the waters darken deep, 
lived the most amazing creatures that you could ever meet. There are fish of all descriptions, of every shape and size. Some have giant pointy teeth and great big bulging eyes. Some have, wait, some of them can walk around and balance on their fins. But the strangest fish of all have glowing whiskers on their chins. Blue whale. There's no other beast on the planet as big as the giant blue whale. He measures a massive 100 feet long from his head to the tip of his tail. We're just a bunch of barnacles, and all we do is cling. We know it's not that glamorous, but it's our favorite thing. Barnacles. Walruses. Our bodies are covered with blubber, and our tusks are incredibly long. We're grumpy and proud, and we bellow out loud to show that we're mighty and strong. Penguins. We waddle around on our icebergs, which makes our feet slither and slide. And when we get close to the water, we leap with a splash off the side. Polar bears. Deep out of the Arctic, the mommy polar bear snuggles up with all her children, since it's very cold out there. What a lot of creatures we have seen beneath the sea. What a lot of funny things they do. Some of them might lick their lips and eat you in one bite. And some might want to swim around with you. The dolphin's very friendly, and the lobster's very fierce. But the shark is the most dangerous by far. Can you name the other friends we made along the way? See if you can tell me who they are. And that is commotion in the ocean. And later when we get back to school, you can check this book out and you can look through it and look for some of those animals that uh, they didn't talk about, but there are pictures of in the book. All right, guys, have a great day.